Thank you very much, Bobie Osei. The crew has landed at the Accra College of Education. It's day three of the strike by the Colleges uh, of Education Non-Teaching Staff Association. And this is the Accra campus. They are making some demands of government. They want their conditions bettered. We're finding out what exactly those demands are and what the engagement with government has been so far. Teaching activities are ongoing. It is the non-teaching staff that is on this strike. So you have the administration um, that is not working. You have the kitchen, you have the library, you have laborers not working. So that is the situation here. We'll be giving you a 360 of what is happening here on the campus of the Accra College of Education as the strike um, continues. It's day three and they have a meeting with the National Labour Commission. We'll also be giving you an update on the outcome of that meeting as well and as to whether they will call off the strike or not. This is the city newsroom and we are going around and telling you the impact of the strike by the non-teaching staff in some colleges of education, or all colleges of education in Ghana. Stay with us. My name is Zoe Abubeduado. We are here at the administration block of the Accra College of Education, and the doors are locked here. We would show you, move around, and let you have a feel of what the actual situation on the ground is. But I'll be speaking to the local chairperson um, of the um, College of Education, Non-Teaching Staff Association here at the Accra College of Education and he will be giving me some more perspective and explain um, the reason for the strike. It's been day three. Um, how has your, your strike, I mean, how, how has it been for you? Uh, what was the mood here? The mood here, as you can see, very quiet environment. Um, with the exception of the students who management has been able to put in a strategic intervention to keep them going. You have not even met anybody here. Uh, but they are not on strike with their tutors, so they are in session. But all the administrative staff, as you have seen, are all out of office. Uh, if you go around our library, our works and estate, our kitchen and pantry, uh, our works offices, they are all out of official duties. Okay. So the general idea is that you are demanding for better conditions of service. What are the specifics? Thank you very much, uh, Zoe. See, we are thinking of, first of all, our entry point when you are employed as a first degree holder in colleges of education. Uh, in the, the analogous institutions, comparatively the universities, first degree holders are placed at level 17, and we are asking the same. What does it mean to be on level 16 and level 17? Does it come with extra benefits? Uh, help us understand that. Of course, of course. Uh, if you're on level 16, your basic salary is lower comparative to being on level 17. You know in Ghana, your, beer, your SNITs depends on your basic salary, your income tax depends on your basic salary, your allowances whatsoever depends on your basic salary largely, and uh, even your market premium depends on your basic salary. We are talking about what we call the generic allowances such as uh, transport allowances, housing allowances, um, overtime, uh, and various allowances that are generic to our call of duty, which our employer himself know is spelled out in our condition of service, but it says to be negotiated. We have gone on the negotiation table, discuss it, it's agreed in principle, but as of now, no implementation is effected by the employer which we are asking for. We are also talking about interim market premium areas, which the government is owing us and we are asking them to pay. Let's now move around and go to some of the offices you show us around and um, we'll give you an idea of what is actually okay. happening here. So Thank join us much. as we um, show you around the offices and um, where they, I mean, we'll tell you what is being done in every office. Okay. As you can see, this is uh, John Rogers Library. And uh, that place too is under lock because the staff are not available, mm. except the senior management person, the librarian, but uh, she may not yet be at post also. If she's at post, she, it might have been temporary or small open, but just to, for his to have access to his office. Mm. Correct. But for the non-teaching staff who are supposed to be here, they are off duty. This is still the city newsroom, still on the Accra College of Education. Non-teaching staff are 
um, on strike and I've seen a few or t a couple of them I will hi can I join you okay all right thank you very much my name is Zoe well I work with City TV and um, I presume you are non teaching staff okay. are you yes, I am uh, you are sitting down at this cool weather I mean the, it rained last night you are enjoying the, the cool weather yeah uh, as a matter of fact the non teaching staff of all colleges 46 colleges across the country is on strike and uh, we have spoken to about five issues that we expect the government to uh, call us to the table to dialogue on so at the moment we are the task force of the non-teaching staffs Accra College of Education. So we're just here to see how and to monitor how our members are following on the strike. So if you have somebody who is not going according to plan, what would you do to that person? There what are happened? measures that he has to answer to. Mm. Yes, so that's why we're here. Is the three yep. of the strike and we know you have a sort of a shift system with students coming, some on some vacate, others come. Yeah. So estate accommodation, if yeah. the strike persists yeah. still, when are students supposed to vacate and when are the others supposed to come? Tell us, give us an idea. So uh, immediately what we're having is that uh, level 100 students have finished their exams today. By tomorrow they're supposed to leave campus. And uh, by Sunday, level 200 is coming back to campus with uh, level 300. So they will now continue the calendar so this year per se there is no break per se because we, we're no longer having an online teaching with students every student is supposed to have a face-to-face -face teaching so that's why um, Prinkoff together with government have uh, designed a calendar whereby they will be in out in out depending on the kind of level so as we speak right now it's level 300 and level uh, 100 that are on campus now level 100 will be moving out tomorrow. By Sunday, level 200 will be on campus with level um, 300. That's what we have right now. In the course of all this strike, um, one group of people that will be affected, likely, possibly, are students. I have a representative here um, to speak to me on how students are being affected here. He's the outgoing SRC president of the Accra College of Education. Are students affected? Is day three? Any changes since they started the strike? Um, for Accra College, I think we are okay here because students from day one, they fed them and, and lectures too was going on. Even I remember the um, first years who were writing exams, they, they've been able to finish today. But for our colleagues or other way that we hear from them and videos that we see, they are the ones we know they are going through a lot. There's a meeting that's ongoing. What, what is your wish as a student body? What would you wish to see? For my stay here for about four, three years, let me say three years, what I've experienced is that um, workers here are treated badly. If you look at certain things that you hear from GS, this person receiving this, it hasn't happened yet. It looks like we, we've left the training college always when they strike. You hear it's from um, colleges of education. 2018 has happened, tutors going on strike. 2022 is happening again. What is happening? It means that there's something wrong. And so um, I'll be happy if things are taken into consideration and then uh, government helping us to resolve the issue amicably. Thanks for staying with us on the City Newsroom. We've now gotten to the cafeteria. Um, this is where the students dine and have their meals. So um, we can see some food um, already served. The students will be here, I believe, any moment from now to have their lunch. Okay, so... Um, I still have one of um, the staff, non staff here with me to um, explain to me what happens here. But the kitchen is still active. Uh, I mean, wh why, why is that so? Kitchen is active because uh, kitchen have casual workers working now. Casual workers, they are currently working and they are not much. And for them, they don't have experience like the domestic bazaar. And then if in case of any lack of uh, uh, food staffs, they will be in trouble. Currently, I just got to know that they are running out of stock. Wow. So, they are, and the stock keeper is also on strike. So, nothing to write home about for now. How many students are we even taking care of now? Now, we have students getting to, let's say, 700 now, currently on campus. 
because uh, it's level 300 and then level 100 data on campus now. This is still the city newsroom and we are bringing you um, up to speed or an update on the strike by the Colleges of Education and Teaching Staff Association. We've taken you around and shown you some of the offices and some of the roles that are being played here and the absence of the staff who are supposed to be at those various posts. The national leadership of the association is having a meeting with the National Labour Commission. So my colleague Kennedy Chumesi um, has an update of the outcome of that particular meeting and he has filed this report.